What's going on everybody? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. And just as we did yesterday, I am going to be attempting a Omen 3 build. I don't want to do the exact same skulls though, so I'm going to take skulls that I, I know are good, like nice defensive skulls per, uh, per chance. Skulls with iframes most importantly, um, which is technically this and this, but actually... You know what? We'll, we'll kind of change. We'll, we'll mix it up a bit because the omen runs for one is going to be mixed no matter what you do because you're going to be looking for the bone omen. So, you know, having two opposite damage type skulls isn't necessarily bad. But both of these have in, uh, invulnerable swaps, which is very nice. And we're going to want to capitalize as much as we can on iframes. However, this gargoyle does not have the ability I'm looking for. So we'll probably try and reroll that or maybe just swap off the... Um, well, you know, maybe we'll end up swapping off of it. Who knows? It's a start, though, you know? Like, we're, we're, we're cooking. Though, ideally, um, you know, we'll have, like, a gajillion um, uh, mercury hearts, and it won't even matter. But, yeah, we're going to do it again. I might not do it tomorrow uh, again, just in case it doesn't pan out here like it did yesterday. You know how it is. Like, I, I don't like to do the same thing over and over too much. But, like, yesterday, we didn't even get a chance to try for omens. So... I'd, I'd like to give it a proper go. And also, yesterday's run was so mean, dude. I can't get over that uh, that ending. Oh, crap, we forgot items. <laughs> well, whoops. I set myself at a disadvantage. Um, that's what I get for focusing too much on my skull choices. But um, we'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. It's a We're going to be weaker in the short term. Hopefully, in the long term, it doesn't make too much of a difference. All right, sir. You need to go. Thank you. Also grateful we haven't come across like a nasty offensive uh, prefix yet on these Dark Elites. Gotta love that. And we should be through here any minute now. Maybe I could just get the Carleon Insignia in the shop or something. I don't know. Boing, boing. I love it. I'm also very curious to attempt... Um, I I've seen this strategy and I've talked about it a little bit. Um, there's that curse. I think it's a curse. I'm pretty sure it's a curse. That... um. Whatever you dash, it can give you instant cooldown, but um, at the cost of uh, HP, like it hurts you. But I've seen plenty of examples of people utilizing that to great effect, and I want to try it myself. And that seems like a, another strategy that would be very vi uh, valid and viable with um, with like utilizing omens, omen three in particular. So maybe we'll attempt that. I don't know. Like the the world is my oyster, as I always say. I can do whatever I want from here. The run is young. Uh, nothing is set in stone, especially since we forgot our items. Like, we literally have nothing. Still haven't been offered a um, freaking uh, uh, item room yet, either. So we haven't even gotten the chance to look for omens. Like, the game is just being very mean. Which is just typical, you know, Skull Heroes Slayer, everyone. But we'll go with the flow of RNG, as I always talk about. That's how you're meant to play. And there is actually... We actually high-rolled our doors here, which is nice. Uh, that is just a, a way that we can um maybe get an omen here i'm actually open to any omen as of now most of them at least there's not a lot of omens i wouldn't consider at all since we're not either physical or special we're kind of or magic i should say i'm thinking of pokemon terms we're both right now and that's you know that's a beautiful thing all right why have all of these guys been the dark elites like straight up why I have to contend with, like, a freaking million of the, um... Also, a cannoneer cannon guy? Like, come on, bro. You're laying on a little thick, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. God, I wish I had stacks of, uh, this ability. Also, I just realized we got the, um... The early... Uh, Spokesman of the Mist, who, if you might remember from the list I showed you guys... Um, is not capable of, uh, having, like, his odds increase through, like the like free an npc and then have likelihood higher likelihood to see the other npcs like because he's the first on the list okay this is the last time i'm gonna reroll that's <laughs> so whack bro also no oh, oh no it is an omen the cat was just hiding okay beautiful we'll probably end up taking it whatever it is unless it's a really bad one like hidden blade or something i will not take hidden blade whoa okay now that's one of the best ones <laughs> This is an omen that on its own can justify itself with literally no other investment. So we're kind of set down a path now. A masterpiece path. 
Very interesting indeed. I'll look for Masterpiece up here. Pretty much exclusively. I don't care about anything else. Um, what do we have down here? Ugh, what the heck? What the heck? Brother. I did not see a single Carleon item down here. Okay, well then I'm not taking this. What the heck is happening? Oh my god, what? What? <laughs> that was like the worst Dark Quartz pedestal of all time! I just got screwed! This omen is just like a, a heavy, heavy burden at this point. I got nothing! Like, come on, game. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, um... There's a good chance that this run does not last very long. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, this is just a, a strictly bad burden on this run right now. Because I have no scaling on it. Or maybe maybe it counts for itself. But, like, even then, doesn't justify it. Oh my god, we're taking so much damage. Can't wait for him to come back around. Pretty nasty uh, partner for this guy, too. I don't like this. Oh my god, why? Okay, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I don't have iframes yet! Okay, that was just a mistake. Okay, well, he gets to ult. Dude, this is so bad. This is not good. This is so freaking awful. Okay, we gotta get it together after this, for sure. Thankfully, no cleric or anything like that, so, like, our lack of damage isn't a super big deal. Unbelievable, that freaking Dark Quartz shop. I'm pissed. Just stay here, stay here. Please, come back. Okay, he, he pretty much took all of that, which is nice. Uh, 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 dude, the trajectory on that is so bad. God, we spent so much money trying to get Petrify, and it just got, like, the worst ability, basically. Unbelievable. That was, that was awful. Please, just give me something here. Okay, Masterpiece. There we go. Masterpiece. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, God, what is happening? Um, Masterpiece with that character? I don't know, guys. I think I'm going to break him. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. All right. Here we go. Upgrade this. See if we get Petrify. We did. Beautiful. And we'll upgrade this too. Use those bone shards to good measure. I don't know if I'm committing to the int, but we will upgrade him to at least rare because he gets much stronger when you upgrade him to rare. And we're going to be taking so many item rooms, it's going to be like absurd how many item rooms we're going to be taking. Okay, I'm very, very scared of this room. That disaster is not... Oh, that's Brawler. Never mind. I thought it was disaster for some reason. Maybe worse. All right, you can stay in there, sir. Thank you. Ah! Petrify saved me. All right. Uh, that's the whole reason we upgraded this, by the way, is the um, the thorns coming out of the ground on swap. Very useful. Uh, just, like, a wonderful uh, thing to happen. Okay, there we go. Not bad, not bad. Not good, but not bad. What a perilous act one. I remember I was talking about this recently. When I experiment like this, um, my act ones are like so much scarier. Good lord. Okay. Petrify. I did not see the animation for him doing that. I don't know why. Ah! Game, please. Oh my god. Why is this so awful? We should really be using our boots more, huh? I'm going to be doing that from here forward. All right. No omen, but plenty of goodness. Uh, we more than likely are going to take this. No masterpiece, so none of that matters. We do have a power skull to really capitalize on this. Actually, I will take this. A little bit extra oomph, especially for uh, 
Though, I mean, obviously, the attendance fault. Oh, okay. You, sir, have the, the reach of a god. I, I don't know what to say, man. Like, the level of distance that they can cover is, like, absurd. Uh, uh. Ah. All right, things are going a little better now. I'll be honest. I was uh, very, very scared earlier. Like, I was uh, thinking this run was going to not last long okay i stand corrected now because it's dark mirror and we have omens like one wrong itty bitty just minuscule mistake leads to like a cascade of awfulness gotta love the dark mirror all right let's just keep going um i still have a few rerolls up here so i suppose i should uh i'm probably not gonna actually i will take this and could take that it's actually pretty good i'll take it beggars can't be choosers and get a little bit well actually we could take some attack speed do we have heirloom perchance we do not in that case i'll take this why did it have to be veiled mask dude <laughs> like why did the legendary in the black market have to be stupid veiled mask i hate veiled mask Ah, uh, we have zero masterpiece scaling with this omen. Like this omen, it's just awful right now. Like it's just strictly bad. There is zero upside to having it, except for like. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. We do have a masterpiece. What am I saying? Ah! Oh my god, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky that he died there. All right, we're definitely going to be swapping a lot moving forward, thanks to the giant's axe, and also our gargoyle is just significantly worse than our other skull we're probably going to try and get rid of this gargoyle i don't know i've already committed 30 bone shards to it though Ugh. i don't know maybe i'll probably end up keeping him actually he's kind of good with um with the uh, boots though he's also um he has like a hard dash limit when he's in the air which isn't good uh, we do have the um like the makings of an omen three run already thanks to the uh boots which allow me to kind of like um s like attack enemies without actually having to be near them also i am moving back so i can uh skip that trap segment i'd rather go up here like this than go the right way around and have to contend with like trap damage so if you were wondering that's why i did that even skip a couple fights pro plays that's why y'all are here Write it down, write it down. You have, um, not a lot of skulls can do it, though. Um, what skulls can do it? You got the Gargoyle. Mm, maybe Werewolf could manage it. I don't think Ninja at this point could, if you had Legendary Ninja. Oh, yeah, Ninja could because of the uh, dummy replacement thing he has. There's a few skulls you can do it with, but it's pretty niche. Okay, that is unfortunate. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> and also our boots a lot of the time won't be able to hit Yegi. Only when he's down like this will they be able to actually hit him. So I don't know how well our strategy is going to work in this fight. Also, um, our freaking um, uh, stack ability on our gargoyle won't be able to hit him very much either. Like this one. What's it called? Wind Gust. That will not be able to hit him very often. Slam down a totem. Uh, stop using that ability. I don't know why I still am. I think I'm just kind of on some copium that eventually he'll get hit by it. We can only use that when he's literally on the ground after you get his ultimate. Not this. Does he go down after using this? I can't remember. I don't. <laughs> it's like a horrible thing to not remember. How many times do I fought Yigi? But I actually literally forgot if he uh, went down after using the ult in phase one. Gotta love it. Hacks a brain, bro. It's actually ADHD brain. So, you know, don't blame me. And this at phase one Yigi is finally done with. Um, very long, very cumbersome. But I am not the least bit shocked. All right, get hit with that. Oh, nope, not quite. He literally has to be down on the ground. Like, there, <laughs> enough coping. Like, I can't hit him. It, it is what it is. Like, at a certain point, it just becomes sad. Okay, I'd like to dash from the ground if I can. 
Does he not have the triple dash yet? He might not. Um, he can. Oh, only in midair. Okay, well. You know what? He kind of has, like, that Spyro the Dragon flight, where it's, like, every other dragon in Spyro can, like, fly around like crazy. But, like, for some reason, Spyro himself is just, like, a glider. Always been kind of weird on the low. And, like, you would think a gargoyle could fly perfectly fine, but he just kind of, like, glides around. Like, he doesn't actually fly. It's like, what is wrong with the... Like, I know flight is kind of OP and all, but, like, you're just kind of gimping this guy, like... You know what the wackest thing is, though? Also, why do I keep doing that? Um, like, uh, th that the gargoyles get kept from using that one uh, curse. Like, it literally says, minus gargoyle. It's like... Uh, would that really be so bad to let him have that? Like, it's not like it would be powerful. I feel like they're just afraid that it would, like... You could, like, fly to the top of the, the map and, like, see that the background starts to go away and stuff. And they're like, visually, that's... Like, we, don't, we just don't want the gargoyle to see that stuff, because it's, like, it's ugly, and we don't like that it's there. Um, Okay, what up? Just repulsive chest. Look at this. Oh, my God. It's all awful. Brother. Why, dude? I'm literally... Oh, my God. It's all so freaking... Okay, I'm just going to break this. What the heck? What is my... How is my max HP so high? Um, what? Wait, okay, hang on. What is happening? Um, we have ma extra max HP on our power skulls, but how does my, oh, spokesman. And the 15 we just got from, uh, okay, yeah, I figured it out. All right, mercury heart. And put pocket, right? That has to be it. Um, what's my go-getter looking like? Terrible. Oh my, oh, I meant collection desire. It's awful. <laughs> so we're not taking that. None of this is good. Um, put pocket and we're going to float three. Or two, I mean, because I have nothing else I want. All right, put pocket's going to help me quite a bit here. Um, we can't afford to upgrade, so we're just going to move on. Please give me an item room. Well. We're, we're, guys, we're going to give it our best shot to get omens. Um, but the RNG has to work with me. Just be cautious of this room. I'm waiting for her to use her stupid bell move. Uh, okay, well, uh, we didn't have a Mercury Heart, so it doesn't matter. Like, I'm just trying to stack Mercury Hearts, honestly. Like, ah! Okay, we're <laughs> fine. All right, Mercury Heart stacking begin now. With our iframes, baby. The power of iframes. It flows through you. Yo, part of, like a huge part of my tier list was just like talking about uh, skulls that have iframes. And I'm actually going to avoid taking a skull room here. I'm looking for omens. I need them, gotta have them. It's also quite helpful that we already got the max HP uh, buff from um, what's it, uh, the spokesman, because, um, like, we, we just, like, our, our downside from having the omen 2 is not gonna be nearly as bad, uh, although, obviously, the whole goal of this is to stack Mercury Heart, so none of it matters, but, like, it's, you know, we're, we're, we're on the way, as I always, uh, am cursed to hear in my head that song, I've talked about this before, can you, thank you, Putbucket, <laughs> Like, your cooldown sometimes is a little much. Okay. Almost got hit there, but not quite. And almost ain't enough. You can't get me... Also, uh, no... Um, we didn't get to see a single freaking um, Dark Elite in that room. Hopefully, I don't low roll them. And also, hopefully, we get easy prefixes. Mm. Oh, okay, this is bad. Ah! Okay, we actually somehow kept... All of our uh, Mercury Hearts there. I couldn't tell you how. I'm going to be real. Thank you, uh, Put Pocket, by the way. That was all Put Pocket there. Why did I do that? I don't know. All right, beautiful. We have four now. Just keep stacking. And we're at the shop. 
We have a lot of money. Maybe we could get like Fulgent Dawn. Could take this to make up for all the lost money. Heritage and Mana Cycle. I'm going to pass. We're looking for Masterpiece. Oh, do we still have a thing up? No, we don't. Okay, Masterpiece uh, moving forward exclusively. I'm literally going to ignore everything except Masterpiece. Wait, do we have Mutant? On what? What? Oh! Okay, I'm actually going to take that then. It's looking like I need to get rid of this. Oh, Bomber? With Ignite? Uh... I'm going to keep going. Or am I? I mm, this this Gargoyle is terrible. But if we swap, if we get Bomber, we're going to be much weaker in the short term. Which seems pretty bad if we want to maintain um, like uh, a level of power. So I think I'm just going to keep going. Also, we need to get some magic scaling. Like My Gargoyle is just useless right now. Except for iframes, which I guess is nice, but... Where'd you go? Oh, you're the Dark Elite. I was literally about to complain that we didn't get a Dark Elite again. Also, how did that count for, like, a loss of a Mercury Heart? Tell me, game. There we go. Watch out for this guy. Oh! Oh, what the heck? How did... Oh, no, 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 it did get me. We'd have five right now if we didn't get hit there. Unforge. Int doing the int stuff. Monkey! Actually, yes. Alright, well, yo, we invested a terrible amount of bone shards into that. I'm not happy about it. But, now we have the monkey. And I'm happy about that. Also, we lost another Mercury Heart. Monkey Swap's gonna help me a lot. Although, I guess the problem with Monkey Swap is he doesn't have iframes when he's swapping. Which is not good, but I think we'll be fine. I hope we'll be fine. Also, we lost our iframes there. I wish I knew how that works. Um, occasionally, I'll just, like, not get invincibility frames whenever I swap into my ant. Like, he doesn't go in the ground. In that case, it didn't actually hurt me. In fact, it probably helped me, but I still don't... I wish I knew why it's happening so I could understand it and try and prevent it from happening at important moments. The goal in this fight is essentially just going to be to keep as many uh, Mercury Hearts as I can. Okay, I wish the ninja would move. Also, I don't like this. Oh, did I get hit there? I did not, actually. I don't know how I didn't, but... Okay, he should die. I think we are... Oh, we lost a Mercury Heart? When did that happen? How'd that happen? Wait, what? What happened? Why'd I lose... What? What hit me? Bro! Give me your freaking legendary, sir. Alright, we're not doing a very good job to stack these, uh... These Mercury Hearts. You've gotta be joking. <laughs> we spent so much on that stupid Gargoyle, and for what? We got nothing out of it. I'm gonna do this. Upgrade this. I don't think I'm going to... Actually, I probably should invest some into my monkey. Ten. Because we have to contend with the Liana sisters. If this just ends up being a masterpiece omen run, obviously I'm not going to complain about that. I'm still going to try and go for omen three, though. Like, so far, I'm still heading for it. But it's becoming less and less likely that it's a thing I commit to. The further we get into this run and the more I uh, see how the RNG is treating me. And also just losing Mercury Hearts. Wait, did we seriously lose another Mercury Heart? How? What hit me? <laughs> like, straight up, what hit me? <laughs> like, I'm not even just trying to cope here. I just want to know. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, item room. We need to get these, uh, these omens. Get you. I'm just going to try and keep the distance as much. Oh! Bro, okay, well, that's fair. That one, under I understand why I lost my Mercury Heart there. Isn't this where the Dark Elite is? Nope, so uh, there is no Dark Elite in this room. That's so whack, bro. I mean, we have plenty of time, I guess. Okay, I was, if that lost my Mercury Heart, I would have figured it out. Like, it goes through uh, dashing. Oh, here's another Omen. And it's actually a really good one. We're going to take that. Pretty happily, actually. Get rid of this, because we're no longer doing mixed stuff. 
these Mercury Hearts are going to be very helpful in mitigating the downsides of this. Um, although, I guess I, what I, the more I think about it, the more I think we're probably not trying to keep this Omen. I don't know. Um, it's good on my Monkey. It's not very good on my... Uh, it's not very good on my Int. Also, you, my friend, are screwed. You have nothing helping you now. All right, let's be a little cautious here. I'm going to drop down a little, summon these fools, and let uh, Put Pocket take care of them, I suppose. There we go. And we're going to let uh, Hunter Boots do this. All right, we have so much money now, exclusively with zero um, other... Ex like, we're going to exclusively search for freaking Masterpiece items like this. We could lose... Oh gosh. I don't like losing any of this. I guess we can lose this. This. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it. Bro, please. Oh! Well, we're definitely... Oh my god, wait! Okay, well, I, got, I gotta take this. Because it's like, it's all building towards the ultimate power that is um, the Masterpiece Omen, and we're one off if we can get this so it's certainly worth it what okay uh <laughs> freaking shops man um i might even ditch this omen i'm gonna ditch the omen everything else i want like i want to hold on to these items um that omen i don't care for we'll try and get a better omen um i'm still going for omen three don't worry just uh want to get my masterpiece omen fully filled out because as soon as we fill out our masterpiece omen also i saw why i took damage there so i'm not gonna even complain that's probably how it's been happening okay that was just stupid uh me not reading the prefixes wait what bro you jerks what oh my god he's standing uh, for a second i thought i had lost ah i thought i had lost wait we have we lost that Mercury Heart too? Okay, now that one I'm calling shenanigans, okay? I don't know what happened there. Once we get this freaking uh, Masterpiece filled out, we're going to be so unstoppable that Mercury Hearts are just going to flow like water. Okay? That's my prediction. Also, I hope I didn't skip an item room there. Um, I kind of have like this like habit of just kind of going into... Um, skull rooms whenever i see them so it's actually possible in that shop there was a item room offered to me and i didn't take it if i did my b uh it is what it is bro <laughs> i'm a man of habit okay all right we're going into leon with two mercury hearts which i'm not super stoked about also zero bone i do not like where this run is going i do not like where this run is going dude i hate not having my skulls upgraded we still can't even upgrade the monkey it going into Act 3. I hate this. I might uh, dive away from this uh, Omen 3 challenge at this point. Give it a bit of a cool down. Like, here's the thing, okay? This isn't fun for me, man. I've been challenged to do this, which is why I'm doing it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. Like, I just don't like it. It's not fun for me. But um, I'll still give it a fair, earnest attempt. You know, I got... It's a thing I have to do eventually, like, obviously, but, um, I don't know, man. Like, I, I like having two skulls to Legendary. I like, uh, focusing skull rooms and arachnus scaling and stuff. I, that's, that's what's fun for me. Focusing omen rooms and taking item rooms all the time, it's not, it's just not what I'm into. I don't know. It's a me thing. It's not you, it's me. Also, there goes one of our Mercury Hearts. I'm, I think I'm M screwing from this challenge. Because we already have a cool run anyway. We don't need Omen 3. We have the Masterpiece Omen and we're almost built with it. Which I guess if I... Actually, maybe I'll... I don't know. I think I might still try and make it happen. Because it's like, we're going to be taking item rooms anyway. Moving forward a lot. I might just stop taking money rooms whenever I see them. Because um, we're going to be looking for lots and lots of Masterpiece. Alright, we've officially lost all of our uh, Dark or Mercury Hearts. It is what it is. Um, I do have a very nice opportunity here to uh, get both of the Leon sisters very hurt. 
All right, we're gonna actually gonna do my best to not hurt her here, which means I'm just gonna jump over her and not dash. Play nicely, honest sister. I want to uh, revive phase two with no HP. For the record, I'm pretty sure at that amount of HP, she would revive at full. I'm not even joking. It's that precise. All right, which one? I wasn't paying attention to the sprites. I don't know who. Okay, it's you. All right, we're gonna focus exclusively on that one. It's you. Long hair. All right, we're getting a very low HP phase two. Love to see that. She's gonna be around half, maybe like a little above, which I'm perfectly fine with. Beautiful. The less time I'm fighting this demon, the better. <laughs> I hate her. All right. Beautiful. Ah, she dodged. But guess what? We have iframes, so screw you. That's the power of iframes, by the way. I'm all. That's why Int's very high S tier. And just imagine that in the Dark Hero fight. It, uh, actually, you know what? Screw that. Imagine it in the Leona fight, which is just harder. All right, so that's done. Holy crap, I've been recording for 30 minutes and we're in Act 2. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, masterpiece? No. But we do have Mutant offered to me again. Since I'm pretty much done with the, um, the Omen 3 challenge, or at least I'm not focusing it super hard, I actually feel pretty comfortable taking this. Though I have to ditch... Either this or like one of my good arms items, which I don't want to do. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, ya. I want my mutant back, and I'd like to have it on items. Maybe I'll end up regretting that. I don't know. For now, I don't care. Um, we're going to. I don't think this is a weakness exposure run yet. Is it a predicted pain run? Probably not. What is it though? I don't know. Is it? It's not even collection desire yet. What is this? <laughs> What's our damage? Oh, probably good because of the omen. Um, so maybe we don't care about collection desire. Do we care about go getter? Probably. Go getter. Go getter. Go get her. Go get her. It's go get her. Shocker. Go get her's good here. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> One of the, if not the best arc ability in the game. I don't know. It's debatable. But I mean, go get her is insane. So. All right. I'm done with Omen 3 as of now. It could still happen, though. I got, I'm not going to actively avoid it. I'm just done focusing it. Also, freaking iframes, bro. On top. That's all I'm saying, guys. You know, if you're a doubter of my tier list, you know, a lot of the reason that things are up as high as they are is because of stuff like that. Where, like, I just it was completely invulnerable to damage. You know, it, it's very important stuff. All right, you, my friend, gotta go. All right, we already lost our Mercury Hearts. I guess <laughs> at this point, I'm just using the Mercury Hearts to tank because <laughs> I'm not super worried about getting Omen 3. Oh, uh, why am I doing this to myself? I'm probably going to... Ah, dude, I want my... I at least need to get this guy to Unique. The thing about Omen runs, it's like... It's not super important. Or like just like a run like this. Like It doesn't really matter what skull I'm using. They're all just vessels for like Masterpiece items and like getting like my insane scaling so like it's not like i need both of my skulls to legendary i just hate the feeling of not having it and i at least want this to unique because he's not at his like once he gets to unique that's like a big milestone for this guy that has to be good right it has to be good i could even yeah Get, rid get that out of there and uh oh there's a really good masterpiece sign we're done and now's the fun part okay uh which one i don't want this 
What? Stop! Okay, stop, stop. Everyone calm down. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do, okay? Read this. Um, for one, let's read its uh, flavor. An endless greed that remains ins insatiable even after gaining everything to be had. It may simply be fate that the captives have gone insane. Not me, though. I'm perfectly sane. Um, physical attack increases by 60% for each masterpiece inscription in possession. And we have uh, one, two, three, four incredible masterpiece items. These are all staying forever. But we have one here that I think sucks. So what I'm going to do... Oh, uh, we didn't read the second part. Is... Physical attack increases by... Whenever you break a masterpiece item, you gain damage. We're going to break it. There we go. We did it. We did the thing. And now I have a crossroads. Do I take the offensive wheel? Probably not, actually. Because we still have really good go-getter stuff. We're getting plenty of value off of it. We have very consistent activation of our rear blast. We might be at end game here when it comes to actual uh, things here. But we're going to look for masterpiece. You know what? It pains me to pass this up twice, <laughs> but I'm going to. I'm dedicated. All right, so moving forward, skull rooms. We're going to probably... Actually, I think I've changed my... Because I said I wasn't going to be taking item rooms. I've changed my mind. Um, I'm probably going to take item rooms and um, take or take money rooms and just kind of look in shops for masterpiece. Uh, I need to get my skull shards going. We're so far behind. Yikes. But look at our stats, by the way. Oh my god, is that real? Did we break? Wait, that's real. Uh, that's that's freaking real, y'all. Like, we're 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 off to the races here. This is insane. This is just like so, like I said, solo. This item can solo carry a run. Like you need nothing else. You just have to get the masterpiece going. This is wild. Um, it's like. Even if we decide eventually, for whatever reason, I, I, it's probably not going to happen. But if we do decide we want to get rid of some of our Masterpiece items, uh, we can just break them and still gain value off of them ever having existed on our run. Which is just, this item is so good, dude. I've still sadly yet to get the uh, the Masterpiece uh, Oberon run. That's actually not half bad. Actually, it kind of is because we already have two Courage items that are better. So, we're just going to pass. Alright. Oh, and we got a Nat Legendary. And it's a Gambler, who we don't want. So, we're you know, hopefully going to get um, a decent amount of shards to make up for what we've been missing so far. Ah! Oh, thank you, Mercury Heart. Which, I, by the way, Mercury Heart, I mentioned this last episode. It's just good. Like, you can't go wrong with it. Also, I forgot to mention, we have um, Go-Getter on our Great Sage's Time too. Like, this is just, we're there. I, I don't see this run even slightly having a chance to lose from here. Like, we're just kind of, we're off to the stratosphere. Which is just wonderful. It's a wonderful feeling whenever you get to this point. We're probably going to obliterate these fools. We got the iframes going. Okay, there's Great Sage's Tom popping off. Honestly, we could probably just dash around the map and not even have to, like, contend with these guys and still destroy them. Great Sage's time, get them. And we're dead. Beautiful. And no legendaries here. I wouldn't take her legendaries, so... There was definitely a ceiling there to legendaries I was considering. Sorry about the bump there. Maybe I could stand to move my mic down a little bit. Okay. Uh, we're going to upgrade our monkey here, which is, like I said, big, big um, milestone for this character. And um, we didn't get the ability I want. I'm probably going to try and find an ability swapper and fix this. Not that this is bad, but it's not what I want. In fact, I would say it's both of the abilities I don't want, so pretty unideal. Like I said, though, not bad. You can't go wrong with this guy. Um, this sucks. You need to... Uh, Cut it out over there, bozo. You're making me angry. Big mistake. Now, right now, this you do not want to be messing with Lil Bone right now, okay? Don't get on his bad side, because he is Omega all-powerful right now. To a, kind of a point of absurdity. This is like kind of a, a ridiculous level of power that this run has. Let me up. 
No man should have all this power. Actually, I should not quote that. <laughs> that is not a good time to be uh, quoting uh, yay. And I don't even think I quoted it right either, so. It's going to be harder to activate Great Sage's time, actually, which is kind of a little quirk if I'm right here. Yeah, all four skills, and it actually counts for three skills whenever you don't have two skills on one of your characters. So it's like a weird little quirk for um, for that item in particular. Not that the it popping off is necessarily worth like thinking about most of the time. Um, just a little bit of a trivia thing, you know. It's like a fun fact type of deal. I'm probably gonna get rid of these Mercury Hearts moving out of this act. I don't think they're helping me that much. All right, masterpiece, please. I'm not going to get tempted. Still not tempted. And there we go. Masterpiece. You're getting out of my inventory, sir. A little more stat scaling. And can we... I don't think we should afford to do, uh, get anything else. Like I said, we're kind of in the end game of our item build. Like, there is not pretty much anything that is going to help me from here. We are definitely there. It's go time, basically. Sir, please don't land it. He... <laughs> I was about to say, please don't land on that platform. He did, though. One of the only downsides of... Uh, um, using the uh, the Giant's Axe is the occasional awkward moments it gets you. Not that it really hurt me at all, but... Still don't like it when it happens. Ah, oh, we are so far behind on our scaling. Like, the good thing about this run is I can probably skip Arachna damage. Like, I can skip um, scaling that shrine because we already are there on our damage. This is well, well above where I would consider, like, a uh, uh, easy victory against the Dark Hero. So it's like, we're there. What we aren't there on is attack speed and getting our skulls to legendary. Stuff like that. So... We definitely are not finished, but we're getting there. Also, uh, can I just say, um, fully masterpiece veteran hunter's boots is so OP. It's so freaking OP, dude. I love it whenever I have this on a run. Especially with put pocket, like rooms just don't stand a chance. They're they're nothing now. I don't even gotta think about them. They are a second thought. All right, no ultimate golem for y'all. At least I don't foresee that happening. I wonder how much HP the Mercury Hearts have saved me overall. Probably so freaking much. But um, once I gave up caring about stacking them, it was like the the Omen three run was over. But frankly speaking, can you anyone even be upset? <laughs> like uh, this is better than an Omen three run. This is a masterpiece Omen run, which is just just an excellent way to play. I very rarely get to play around with Masterpiece. It's just like, so nice whenever it gets to happen. And it's, you know what's kind of sad? We're missing out on our homies. You know, our homies aren't here for the for the journey. Um, There's the Sage's Time. I was actually trying for Sage's Time there, which is probably not smart. Like I said, it's not worth considering. The animations on our monkey skills are way too long to even consider it like 90% of the time. Actually, Arachna scaling will help that. I'm actually not going to respect her because we have so much iframes it doesn't matter. Watch this. This is the power of iframes. I don't even have to try in this fight. I don't have to play at all. I don't have to play by her rules. It's all me, baby. Okay, never mind. I'm... <laughs> Let's not be too dumb here. Like like that, for instance. We are still taking a ton of damage thanks to the uh, omen we have. I took a lot there, but who cares? I just wanted to show off a bit. And we're going to heal here anyway, so... Never punished. Masterpiece? Doesn't appear to be. However, there is this. Which I am a big... F Actually, it's been a long time since I've played with Flame Dragon. I'm going to take it. I love Flame Dragon. It's my favorite Quint. Or one of them. I like Dwarf the most. But yeah, it's close. Are we still not at a... Yeah, we're not. And we don't even need Collection Desire. We have like an extra slot 
that we normally wouldn't have. I actually think I'm going to keep Mercury Heart all the way to Act 4, now that I think about it. Um, I actually don't know what to take here. Predicted Pain I still don't see being that good. Um, Could just take Wheat Nukes Exposure. It's like, just good. Nothing else here is appealing. These curses aren't appealing either. Yeah, especially... I mean, Trance is dog shit. It's actually kind of okay with... um With Mercury Heart, but... Eh. Um... Big Mountain Pressure could be interesting. 20, 40, 60. Every second. Oh, dealing damage? Gets reset one second after dealing damage to an enemy and will not increase for again for two seconds. Oh. Wait. That's dog shit. I have a run request for um for Warrior with this. Warrior's like the only skull I foresee this being decent with, but even then it's like You would have to wait around for five seconds to get the two forty percent increase, which I guess is I don't know. <laughs> it's just hard to justify it. I guess it's good with like, actually, maybe we, sh actually, you know what? Let's try it. I'm feeling a little spicy today. Um, with Ant in particular, this could actually not be half bad. Because Ant has like multiple hits attached to especially his uh, Deep Roots ability, which is quite nice. But I also think I'm going to upgrade my monkey. I thought for a moment I might upgrade him, but monkey's going to be more useful. At, like the, the jump from legendary to, or unique to legendary is much more impactful on the monkey than it is on the end. And that's generally how I weigh these things. Unique is perfectly capable of performing very well. And frankly speaking, so is monkey, but monkey swap at legendary is insane. All right, need skull rooms, need a lot of bone shards. I need to get lucky, but we still haven't seen the harpy or the remaining one. So, it's not all bad here. Flame Dragon, please just deal with him. I have zero patience to deal with the Demon Hunter. <laughs> Thank you. You love to see it, frankly. Uh, you guys want to see something cool? Even though it's not really cool, but I'm going to do it anyway. Boing! Wait, wasn't that neat? I mean, it was kind of neat, right? It was alright. You know, they, give me credit where it's due. It was fun. You know? Uh, we have to have fun here on the Hexer channel. Ah! Get yeeted. Oh my god, he's up there, dude. No. <laughs> Why? That's actually pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. I really should try concentrating on Monkey more. I don't see a lot of inherent value in it, but, like, that ability goes kind of hard whenever it's fully concentrated. We'll do it here, actually. Watch this. I bet you didn't even know you could concentrate that. It's actually concentrate multi-press, and there's not a lot of abilities that are, like, that complex in Skull. The only problem is it, like, leaves you frozen in place for a very long time. And I don't like that. Okay. Uh, more doors means more money. I'm perfectly okay with that. And also more chances to see um, Skull Rooms, which we want very badly. Also, we, it's been a while since we've... Wait, hang on. Actually. Oh, God. I've screwed. I screwed up. I'm, we're gonna... <laughs> oh, no. Um, that's actually much worse. Like, I was thinking it was uh, skill damage. Every time you don't use skill damage. Okay. Well, then we kind of screwed the pooch there. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, that is exclusively bad because of all the uh, item damage we're doing. That's such a hard thing to build around. And it's just like exclusively bad because it's like all the time you're sitting there not doing damage, even though the increase is massive. I'm sure you can like build upon that to maybe even get to like one shot territory on some enemies. Like you would just be doing much better if you were just dealing DPS. Like you have to pass on so many really good strategies to make that work. And it's just like whack dude it's whack all right sir you have lived long enough i'm done with you 
But are you guys seeing the power of monkey swap? It's very good. Um, it deals with rooms so effectively. Like, personally, if that, if that tier list was like a Hax's Preferences tier list, Monkey would have been S tier. Oh my god, that's so good. Wait, how many legendaries do we have? We might have... Wait, we have one. This is the rare instance where maybe a Pot of Greed isn't ideal. What would we get rid of? Yeah, we have two. Though that is 60. So I lose arms three. Or arms four. I should have not bought this. This is bad. I got distracted, okay? <laughs> monkey see, monkey take. Monkey get excited. That's me. Um, Masterpiece. Thank you. Give me the stats. Yes. Yes. I'm going to... How many... I'm gonna save it. I don't think 10% is worth it. It's like minuscule in the grand scheme of things. And I need to... I have two dark abilities I want to sell at the end. This is whack, guys. <laughs> we better play well in Joan because we're not gonna have any money to heal. Yes! Get him, Flame Dragon. Show the haters. Show the non-believers. The doubters. The fiends. You know, there's a lot of people out there. I used to... It drove me crazy. Um, it's not as much of a thing in hard mode, I don't think. The the hyper fixation from people on item or quintessences like orc and um, and troll to the point to where people would boldly with their chest claim that um, quintessences like flame dragon are bad. And it drove me crazy. That used to be like how I talk about how my goal on this channel is to get people to um, to like swapping more and use that mechanic more than they do. One of my goals on this channel used to be to get people to stop saying horrible things like damage quints are bad. I don't like I said it's not as much of a thing anymore, but people, dude, there was Skull used to be a cesspool of bad takes. The the whole community, and I'm glad things have kind of changed for the better. You've got to be joking. I mean, no, right? Like, just, again, no. I have to pass, because everything I'm doing is just better. The rare Chad no pot of greed run. You know? Who'da thunk it? I don't even think at this point I would take a crown of thorns, because every single one of these is better. Like, I would just break it like any other uh, masterpiece item. Alright, uh... Bad time for you, miss. I'm sorry that this has happened to you. My sincerest apologies, but you you just don't stand a chance. I say as I start to take vast amount of damage from her. Gotta love it when I get cocky and get instantly shown what's what. It is what it is, folks. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it! Oh! Dude! Dude! Oh my god, you've got to be joking me. Freaking monkey swap screwed me! I don't even... Oh, it's so, so whack, dude. Alright. Well. I don't like that. I'll be honest with you, something about that rubs me the wrong way. Um, so now the run's in peril. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. I guess I got what was coming to me being so cocky. But, uh, you know, when the chicken's coming home to roost, gotta say, don't like it. It's not a good feeling. All right, there's a, a harpy who we actually don't need anymore. I'm actually more than ever in the back half of act four probably not going to focus my items really at all or my skulls uh my bone shards at all much less than usual because i have much more value to be gained just breaking omens or uh, masterpieces i mean that's an omen which i won't be taking right yeah the run's too in peril for me to even consider it i'm gonna take money 
Um, I need a lot of it for Act 5. No. Denied. What? Wait, hang on, what? You know what? I I've had that happen before. I actually think I know what it is. Um, before hard mode came out, they actually had like an exception in the game. Whenever that character would lose their mobility, they would insta-summon uh, their um, their friends. But they removed that when uh, hard mode was released. But I think they they forgot to remove it on some things. And I think the, um, the int grab is one of those things. It's like a very... Like, they just, for, they overlooked it, basically. And it's just kind of left, like, a strange kind of interaction where, like, in 90% of instances, um, they fully fixed the problem, but in just very rare instances that they just forgot to uh, think of. Actually, it's not even that rare. Like, it's, it's actually, you know, like, how people, a lot of people play Ant, so, and a lot of people have probably over uh, come across that weird interaction. So it's just like a... Bit of an oversight on their part, which is, you know, it happens. Some, you know, but they definitely should fix it. And we are high rolling our doors here, which I don't like. I'll be honest with you. Um, our run in terms of resources is pretty much done. I can't think of anything we need. Um, obviously more masterpieces, but it's all gravy at this point. Like, we're so powerful that any damage percent we have is just kind of, you know, it's nice, but it's not important. So I'd just like to get on with the rest of the run and um, get to Joan already. So any extra time spent not fighting Joan is time spent dying. And we lost our life tragically, so I'm pretty scared at this point. Losing this run would be embarrassing. I don't think it's going to happen. I still feel very confident about a victory here, but it's much more likely than it was before. Whereas before it had a 0% chance to happen, and now it's like somewhat likely, I don't know. I'm probably going to take Last Resistance again and not get comboed out of the game this time, please. That would be nice. Masterpiece. Are there Masterpiece Uniques? I actually don't know if there are. I can't think of any. Also, we haven't bought our inscriptions yet either. I should do that. Um, What would we take? Mutant, for sure. Mutant and... Hmm. Mutant and Rapidity, I guess? I'll do a couple refreshes here. I actually... I might do one refresh here. Actually, I'm going to do zero refreshes. I'm I'm very, very, very uh, focused on getting to Act 5 with a decent amount of um, money. That's, like, my main goal right now. Sir, could you step a little bit back this way? Took it, taking all my Mercury Hearts. Very uh, BM of you. All you had to do was stand under the uh, the zone of danger, and we would have been fine. Uh, uh, more juggling. Oh, he just teleports back to you, so it doesn't matter, actually. Beautiful. We have two Sages times up. I don't think I can get it in time. Yeah, our, our animations on our monkey are just way too long. Okay. Um, we might be close to Joan. I hope this is the last room, but there might be one more after this. Like I said, the, the, the quicker we can get to Joan, the happier I'll be. Also, Joan has to go well, too. Like, yesterday, I lost my life against Joan, so it's like, I have to respect her. Give her uh, the respect she deserves. Although, I, like I said, I'm not very... There's not a lot in this run. Oh, my God. Wait, we broke a shrine, though, right? That has to be shrine damage. That's not real. Okay, yeah. Something was going on there. I think it was a shrine. Alright, it is Joan. Thank you. Thank you, guy. 25 bone shards. We can literally only do one action after we get out of here. <laughs> and we have no mercury hearts. So I'm probably... Actually, I am going to sell mercury heart. But we have 8k, so it's fine. Like, we'll have plenty of money in Act 5. Or at least we'll have enough to, like, do something with it. But it is time for uh, Joan. And it's not a guaranteed win. It's almost guaranteed because we're just so powerful, but we lost our life. So we have to play the Joan Respect game. Uh, monkey swapping is going to be a bit precarious against her because of her um, beams and stuff. 
if I swap into one of those beams like we saw in the archer fight, there's like so many hitboxes in that corner. That's actually what happened for the record. I'll just explain it here. So she had like, I think, a bunch of her arrow beams here. And she was like here in the corner. I swapped into it and took like all of those hitboxes at once on my monkey. And he just melted. Like just n there was no stopping it, though. I guess not swapping in a monkey was a way to stop it. But um, we're going to keep we're going to move into Joan and see how this goes. I think it'll be fine. But who knows? We'll just have to see how it goes. All right. Um, I don't think phase one is going to be a problem. Phase two is where it's going to become a problem. But even then, I feel pretty okay. Like I said, this is... I'm not super scared. I just have to be cautious. We will drop a flame dragon here. Swap. Get some iframes going. Deal gargantuan damage. Swap again. Oh, we got the great sages time, but we didn't get to use it. Unforge. I'm so used to having, like, mana cycle. It feels weird not having it. All right, Joan. Y you know what? You're just annoying. There, I said it. Actually, I probably say this all the time. But, yeah, she's super, super annoying. We don't have a way to get iframes here, so i got to be a little careful. Oh, come on. Just don't summon the beam again, please. Okay, I think we're going to get out of here. Good. All right. We'll swap the monkey to start things off. Sadly, we don't have the stun on our monkey, so there's no shot we're going to be able to um, do anything like that. Actually, I'm not going to uh, start with swapping the monkey. I'm going to start with this. Now we're going to swap the monkey. Oh, she's up here now. Well, that's irritating. Play nice, Joan, please. How, how did all those miss? Okay, there's a perfect example of why monkey swap is... Not ideal here. I need to be very cautious moving forward of monkey swap. Oh! Please don't do this to me, game. Okay, this is bad. I'm not swapping to monkey again. Oh! That was instinct. Oh my god, I almost threw the whole run for no reason. Oh, oh, okay. And we have no way to... We have to buy a heal in the shop. That is a masterpiece item. Definitely break it. More scaling, please. And it's also a lot of money. I actually feel decent about my money here. Alright, so I think I know what I'm going to do here. I think. I mean, for one, this goes. Get out of my run. Get out of my run. We have 5k gonna upgrade that um take last resistance and now i have 10 things to work with so i can do whatever i want um and i think i want super baby i mean it has to be the best thing here <laughs> excuse me i What's my collection diary looking like? Actually, collection diary is massive damage. I mean, that that is... Oh, we're so close to elite. Did you see that? That's so whack that we missed that. One goes here. And then we're going to heal in the shop. Hopefully, it's a good food item. Please don't be the stupid Animatus 100 years or whatever the hell it's called, dude. Monkey Shop has certainly betrayed me on this... Or Swap has betrayed me on this run many times. But it's my own fault. I even... Like, I just... Out of instinct, kept swapping and screwing myself there. So it's literally my fault. So I don't blame Monkey Swap. Oh, I oh my god, I saw that. <gasps> oh wait, what? Which one? That was like an Animatus, but it wasn't the crappy one. I don't know. I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna juggle this Quint <laughs> and uh, consider that good. Wait, there was a masterpiece item there. I screwed that up a little bit, but that's fine. We already have so much scaling. Who cares? Um. So here's my kit. Look at our stats. Almost lead, one off, which is just a disaster, frankly. Um, however, the run itself is insane. This is like just absurd power. Um, let me make sure I didn't accidentally. Okay, the recording is still going. I just wanted to absolutely make sure I hate when um, I accidentally press F11 instead of F12 and it stops my recording and I lose everything. 
Um, I will say this is not a guaranteed win. We're not at that status, which is just my own fault, frankly. Um, but I, I think it's getting there. Like, it's close. Um, it would be a lot to lose this run at this point. Um, no Arachnus healing, though, which is just... That's the, the side effect of doing the Omen 3 stuff. My skulls suffered immensely for it. I'm good, definitely going to take a break from doing that challenge. Like I said, I just don't find it fun. Um, this is how I prefer to play the game. Um, it, it's more fun to me. It's what I'm comfortable with. Um, I'll definitely do the Omen 3 challenge eventually, but... I don't know. We gave it two honest efforts, and it just wasn't panning out. So, it is what it is. We got to respect this fight, despite how much damage we have. Um, you know, I want to go into Phase 2, uh, or the Dark Hero fight, I should say, with... Uh, with a lot of HP, and if things go badly, we'll just take a ton of damage and then only be able to fight the hero with, like, barely any life. So, gonna respect him. We do have some safety here. Pretty good run overall. Uh, Put Pocket doesn't generally come with me to the Dark Hero fight, but I'm telling you, it's not bad against the Dark Hero at all. Five seconds, you know, every 10 seconds, you deal, like, 600 or so damage. Most Dark abilities don't do that, um, unless they're passive, like Go-Getter, which is, like, incalculable. In terms of like the benefit it provides either way though it's time we're going also uh, excuse my like s sniffling and stuff uh, allergy season is going to start soon it's real bad for me uh like horrifically bad Her allergies are awful for me man it's like the worst time of year early spring and like early autumn too it's real bad there too all right okay this is Ugh! he's being why did he like, he's being so mean. Just gotta respect him. There's something I'm always kind of having to um, balance out is, like, how much I respect an enemy. Um, you can give them too much respect and then just, like, uh, make yourself vulnerable unnecessarily to damage, like, because you're staying too long in the fight. And that's another way you can... Um, take accidental damage oh uh-oh we did it do you see that cheese bro like the the sw accidentally swapping into ant as soon as he starts that phase of the attack and like cheesing it and not like getting punished for it dude i i love stuff like that okay we can get him here uh did i think he died to put pocket <laughs> i was ready to come over there and kick your ass sir all right dark hero time decent amount of hp though the omen is certainly going to complicate things also i got to be super careful with monkey swap it's gotten me into enough trouble um the the no iframes having stuff is not good um okay lag please n do not punish me lag Okay, that was rough. Oh, no! Oh! Tackle Dash almost killing me there. Oh, my God. Monkey Swap is killing me! Dude, I've been betrayed so much by one of my favorite swaps in the game. Dude, I was in the air! Okay, this is bad. We might lose this, guys. I'm going to ult here, okay? It's ult time. I'm done playing. I'm going into hyper serious mode, if you couldn't tell. No! No! Oh my god, he's... He's BMing me again. Okay, we're going to phase three. 
Oh my god! Okay, we're alive. Here we go. We have a lot of time to beat the hell out of him here. Okay, here comes a possible grab. He didn't get me. No, dude! Oh my god, alright. That's so whack, dude. I cannot believe I lost this run. Shameful. Shameful. Okay. We're going into postmortem. I have a lot to talk about. Okay, that's pretty embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. Um, two L's in a row. I don't like this. I was doing so, so well for so long. And two L's in a row? Pretty nasty. Um, I actually learned... Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to front. I'll be honest with you guys all the time when it comes to, like, my perception of this game and, like, my ability to, like, appraise skulls. I was not considering ever, and I don't think I've ever encountered it this badly, how much monkey swap can screw you up in certain fights. Um, Like, both, like, this run lost to the monkey swap. Straight up, it did. Um, Swapping into, like, crazy attacks like that him not having iframes especially if you're carrying an omen and you take even more damage every time you hit something dude that shit screwed me so hard i don't even i'm stunned and i think i learned something new this might affect my opinion on the monkey i would might bring him down if i were to like do another tier list you know like i would have to consider this this is not something i was thinking about when i was appraising him so maybe he's worse i don't know he's really good in rooms but against boss fights and stuff, and obviously you have to be careful in rooms too, like I'm not going to lie, this has changed my opinion a bit. Um, but obviously, like, I can't, like, omens are always dangerous, but like this omen was ex just an exclusive boon to this run. So, like, it's definitely not the omen. Um, I don't think I played particularly bad. Obviously, you know, it's not like I played perfectly. Now that I know about the monkey swap and how dangerous it is and how much it can screw you if you are say facing the wrong direction when it begins um that affects my opinion but um i'll probably play it more carefully in the future but like losing this run straight up just bad dude i should not have lost this run um and two l's in a row is disgusting so you know it's early in the week we have plenty of time to make up for these l's but uh disappointing i will say that um and i guess eye-opening in some ways so we did learn something here so it does make it a valuable run so you know definitely going up on the channel um and you know we'll just have to get a win tomorrow and play a little more carefully i'm done with omens for a little bit so i guess tomorrow ought to be better um yeah i guess that's really all i have to say I, sorry for that sorry for the loss it is what it is hopefully you guys still had fun i did have fun but i'm kind of stunned here i'm shocked that it uh ended up this way but we learned something new, so that's the most important thing. And, you know, you'll be careful with Monkey. Be careful, especially if you're playing an Omen run. You gotta uh, be careful. And I will say right here, right now, if you're playing Omen 3, don't take the Monkey. Because <laughs> you're going to lose like a gajillion Mercury hearts. Swapping in and out of them. Um, terrible idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say. So I'm done here. Apologies for the loss. We'll get it tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.